Good morning, everyone. This is Micah Cohen, the managing editor of 538, filling in for your usual podcast host, Galen Druk, who is getting so much deserved sleep right now. I'm here with Amelia Thompson DeVoe. Amelia, good morning. Did you get any sleep? I got a little sleep, yeah, Micah. I was on the uh, the crew that went to bed early and got up at 5 a.m. So <laughs> it's been a full morning already. Very nice. Um, so let's keep things pretty basic this morning and just give listeners, uh, listeners and viewers uh, an overview of kind of where we are in particular with the presidential race. Amelia, which races are are still TBD and what are we looking for in, in each of those? Yeah, so we're still waiting for final results in a number of different key states. Um, I just wrote an update for the site on what's happening in Georgia, where about 92% of the expected vote is in, but we're still waiting on some ballots from suburban Atlanta. Um, Pennsylvania, obviously, has been a state that we were not expecting to get results from quickly. Um, And in fact, we only have about 75% of the vote in there. Um, We are also still waiting on final results in Wisconsin, Michigan, and then down in the Southwest, Arizona and Nevada. And we should be getting results or more results from Nevada later this morning, but they're on Pacific time. So, It'll be a few hours until then. So to summarize, summarize things here a bit, we have most of the vote in in Nevada, Biden leads. We have most of the vote in in Arizona, Biden leads. We have most of the vote in in Wisconsin, Biden leads. And in all three cases there, to varying extents, we expect the remaining vote to be de- Democratic leaning, although we'll have to see. We also have most of the vote in in Michigan and in Pennsylvania. Trump leads, though, in both states. In Pennsylvania, um, by about 12 percentage points, with about 25 percent of the expected vote remaining to be counted, that vote is expected to be uh, very pro-Biden. So we should see that gap close. And in Michigan, Amelia, Trump is up by about a half a percentage point. Um, and we just got some new votes this morning, right? The, the big outstanding question in Michigan right now is the votes from Wayne County, which, of course, is the home of Detroit, which is the state's largest city. And Biden is leading there 67 percent to 32 percent. But we only have 64 percent of the expected vote that's been reported in Wayne. So that is a really big deal. Um, and that might be hundreds of thousands of votes that are still left and could be fairly democratic. Finally, uh, in the southeast, Georgia, we have about 92 percent of the expected vote there. Trump is leading by a couple points, but we expect the remaining uh, ballots to be Biden leaning. And in North Carolina, Trump is up by about a little over one percentage point with 95 percent of the expected vote cast. Overall here, Amelia, it seems like we're in this situation where Biden has more paths to win, but there's a ton of uncertainty. And also, and maybe this is where I want to leave things, um, it looks like we're heading towards a very contentious, very litigious fight over these remaining ballots and how they're counted. Yeah, I mean, I would say a sort of note of caution um, when thinking about litigation. Obviously, Trump's go to when talking about a potential close race has been to say he'll take it to the courts. Um, But we are still in a situation where ballots that are presumably valid and were submitted in the deadline were still being counted. And we haven't, you know, in a state like Pennsylvania, gotten into the kind of margin of uncertainty of the extended deadline um, that has been sort of in question in court. Um, So I would say, you know, we should wait and see what some of these results look like. Certainly litigation could be an issue and we'll definitely keep folks posted on that. Um, But right now, it's too early to say, you know, we're heading for a big court battle that could be decisive here. 
That seems like a great note to end things on. Let's wait. Let's wait for the vote to be counted, and then we'll see who who wins. Um, Amelia, thanks for joining us. Thanks, Micah. Thanks for joining me. I guess it's just me and you here this morning. Yeah. It, I, I'm so tired. It's like, how many people are here? Yes, I need coffee. Thank you for watching. We will have more updates throughout the day and possibly days as the vote continues to be counted. Please subscribe. Uh, and thanks for joining us.